Hello, and welcome back to Super Mid-Tier. Today, we're going to be looking at Inscription. It is a roguelike deck builder, uh, sort of in the similar vein as Slay the Spire, but it's got, like, a horror element to it. I don't know how scary of a game it is, but I guess we'll find out. Um, I don't know too much about it other than that. It's a game I've seen recommended quite a bit. Um, in, you know, threads are, like... If you like games like Slay the Spire or Blotro, I've seen it get recommended to people who are fans of those games, and I am a fan of both of those games. Um, and it's something I've been meaning to check out for a while now, just haven't really got around to it before. So, like I said, I don't know too much about it. It's a roguelike deck builder with horror elements. Um, and it doesn't seem to have a new game option, so I guess we'll just do continue. Okay. Does kind of got that sort of old school computer aesthetic, almost like eighties. Another challenger. It has been ages. Perhaps you have forgotten how this game is played. Allow me to remind you. Play the squirrel card. Now play your stoat. Huh? What? Am I missing something? Oh. Okay, so that was telling me to hit the S key. Gotcha. Stoke costs one blood. Sacrifices must be made. Honorable death. Play the stoat. Wolves require two sacrifices. You don't have enough. Ring the bell to end your turn and commence combat. Your stoat stands unopposed. The number on the bottom left is its attack power, one. Your stoat dealt me one damage. I added it to the scale. Uh, you win if you tip my side all the way down. Like this. My turn. Your stoat stands in the way of my coyote. My coyote dealt two damage to your stoat. That means your stoat's health is two less. If a creature's health reaches zero, it dies. It's your turn again. You may draw from your deck, or you may draw a squirrel. Um, how reckless of you. Yeah, so I can't... These both require sacrifices, so there's... Because you're learning, I will pass. You've drawn all the creature cards from your deck. A squirrel is your only choice. Now, do I sacrifice... Squirrel has no damage but one health. Um, it's one damage but six health. Three damage, two health. <laughs> Fear not, the beast is sacrificed but not removed from your deck. Its suffering was real. <laughs> oh, but you will see it again. <laughs> Creepy. Um... Three damage dealt. Three weights on the scale. Pass. You've won this match. They won't all be so easy. Let me recall your story. Oh, yes. You were lost deep in the forest. A single path revealed itself. Two denizens of the forest approach you tentatively. Um, the undying cat sacrificing the poor beast does not kill it. 
caustic adder. Damage from its poison bite is always lethal. Um, I guess I'll go with the snake. When a card bearing the sigil damages another creature, that creature perishes. That seems like it could be really helpful for dealing with like strong creatures. Another creature joins your caravan. Some of the creatures of the forest seemed willing to follow you. You came across an abandoned sack. So, so far the game doesn't really seem scary so much as it has just kind of a spooky aesthetic, which I can really dig. I, I don't like actual horror, but I kind of like that scary aesthetic a lot. Like, I do like, you know, like Halloween, for instance, is a good example of that. I don't like haunted houses, but I like, you know, the decorations and costumes and all that cool stuff. You found a squirrel in a bottle. Break in case of emergency. Do I have a limited number of squirrels? Another useful implement. I'll allow you to tip the scales with it. Three is as much as you can carry. You were ambushed while crossing some rough terrain. You sacrificed me while I was sleeping. It was the right play. I get it. Maybe. You'll, you'll help me? Play along for now. Okay. That was creepy. You may see my moves ahead of time. Okay. Looks like you can also use the the scroll wheel on the mouse. Here we go. Mind the ambitious wolf cub. It ages swiftly. Ooh. Get some damage in. You know you can play more than one card per turn, right? Airborne bat flies over creatures to attack directly. Ha, my bat flew over right over your stoat. Okay, so let's do another squirrel. Um I'm gonna let the wolf kill the boulder, and then I'll play the adder next turn, I think. Was I not clear? You can play a squirrel and also sacrifice this. Yes, I know, I know. So let's... Okay, so we got a wolf against his wolf. Okay, so if I attack first, I just de I deal damage first. Uh, so let's do another squirrel. You prevailed and trekked onwards past the now bloody terrain. Young wolf cub, it grows into a wolf after a single turn. The Meek Sparrow, an inexpensive, if feeble, flying creature. I'll go with the Wolf Cub. It's like only one sacrifice, but if you play it right, you can get a wolf up. Uh, you stumbled into a strange stone in the mist. You were compelled to choose a worthy sacrifice, one that will be lost forever. We'll do the Wolf Cub. You looked upon your meager and selected a healthy host. Um, pick me. Okay. What an honor. A gas, uh, ghastly spectacle, but the soul of the wolf cub now lives in the stoat. And 
Interesting. So it passed on its uh, attribute? Ooh. Behold my totem. It inscribes my canine cards with an airborne sigil. <laughs> He's completely insane. You see that, right? No care for the rules. Pathetic, really. Enough! Only keeps me around to watch me suffer. Alright. Bat, coyote. And they're both flying. So the bat has two damage and then one health. Back on the board. My totem is granting my coyote the power of flight. Yeah, we need more squirrels. Okay, so let's... Three damage away from winning. All right, so we'll play another squirrel, and then we'll. Nice. Impressive. You may yet survive this ordeal. Knock on wood. Proud wolf, a vicious contender. The flighty elk, it moves after attacking. The conniving raven, a blight upon the skies. Uh, actually, I feel like I gotta go with the raven. It's like, probably my favorite animal. <laughs> Although I do like wolves too. You came across a small group of survivors. Faces shrunken from starvation, they huddled around a campfire. These look very old timey. You got like looks like a like a native chief and like a couple like settlers from like the eighteen hundreds. They looked upon the your group of creatures and beckoned. Come warm one of your creatures by the fire, one said. Warm it by the fire, that will enhance its power, said another. You notice one of the survivors wiping drool from their mouth. Hmm. The fire warmed the poor wolf, enhancing its power. One of the survivors reached for towards it. Another gnashed their teeth. Without a word, you pulled the wolf away from the fire and left. <laughs> There's a way out for both of us. It's somewhere in this foul cabin. Be silent or I will tear you to shreds. <laughs> this game is surprisingly pretty. Whoa, Grizzly? Four, six, damn.
You've lost. Using this as a learning opportunity may be the only way to mitigate my disappointment. Get up. Get up from the table. Fetch me the candlestick from atop the barrel beside the door. Bring it here. Now sit back down. Let me explain something to you. That was one of the two mistakes you can make here. You can make another, I must... If you make another, I must sacrifice you. Now where were we? Okay. The stalwart snapper, a near impenetrable defense. Adder. Oh, are these little markers just to say that you already have them in your deck? Um, I actually haven't really used an adder yet, but if I run to more grizzlies, I think that's how my best way to take them down. A rock may get you out of a hard place. Choose one. I guess I'll go with the rock. A gust from this may lift your creatures into the air, if only for a turn. If bleeding yields... It's bleeding yields three blood if you can ignore the bleeding. Feeling overburdened enough with three, with the full three items you carried on. <clears throat> the trees seem to close in around you as a chill must mist descended. In the distance, you could hear the clinking of metal on stone. A hobbled figure stood in your path. Yeah, it was the prospector. <laughs> He's doing the prospector again? Easy, boss. The mule's key. The mule's key. Pack mule. actually beat the coyote so let's okay oh I should have drawn a squirrel I don't know why I did that Did I neglect to mention overkill damage? Excess damage is not wasted. It carries over to the card behind the, the mangled corpse of the victim. Lucky for you. Okay, we need more squirrels. Three health on the so the wolf can kill the pack mule. He said the pack mule is key, but I don't really know what that means. I just figured we gotta kill it. Ah! Oh wow! Dag nab it, my mule! All right, all right. Um, squirrel, raven, cat, elk. Squirrel, and let's sacrifice it for a cat. Oh, uh, the... That was a bad idea. Um... Because now the coyote's just going to kill it. Um... I 
I hope you didn't think it would be that easy. There's gold in them cards. G -g gold! That's the gold! Um, squirrel? What do I do with the gold nuggets? Oh, I can't do anything? I just gotta, like, wait? Bloodhound. Bloodhound is 2-3. So let's do a couple squirrels. Guardian. When an opposing creature is placed opposite to an empty space, a card bearing the sigil will move to that empty space. Okay. Uh, so let's... much I could do right now to let him just keep hitting him. I almost got him. Okay, so... So let's play a couple squirrels and then get a wolf on the board and I can get take out... Is the wolf strong enough for the bloodhound? It is. Yeah, so... Me to light your candles once more. I won't be killing you quite yet. You're the first in a while to overcome a boss. As a reward, you're granted an opportunity to select a rare card. Choose carefully. This level of brutish strength needs no explanation. Uraiyu needs four sacrifices. Gek. An uninspiring Gek. Perhaps you can find a use for it. Poor abandoned child, it does not die when sacrificed, but do you have the heart to try? I mean, one in one one for like no cost, that could be useful actually. And this could, this is obviously really strong, but four sacrifices, that's going to be tough to get. I'm going with the gecko. Like if I had that uh, goat from earlier, then I would totally go for the stronger thing. With, with sound of the prospector's pickaxe still ringing your ears, you you carried onwards. Hmm. The rank smell of rotten mold permeated the humid air. Every step forward has answered by some near was answered by some nearly slip or slither. You tread cautiously into the wetlands. 
And her bullfrog, the watchful bullfrog, it leaps in the way of attacking flyers. A nascent raven is no less conniving in its incubation. Uh, let's go with the bullfrog. Sprinter. At the end of the owner's turn, a card bearing the sigil will move in the direction inscribed in the sigil. Okay, this has got a beehive and a bullfrog. We'll play the bullfrog just to at least be a blocker. And get some damage in. Bees within. Once a card bearing the sigil is struck, a bee is created in your hand. A bee is defined as one power, one health, airborne. snapper. Have it block the bullfrog. Okay, that wasn't that wasn't so bad. Ah, the elusive otter. It submerges itself during my turn. Oh, so that's what that effect was. Card bearing the sigil submerges itself during its opponent's turn. While submerged, opposing creatures attack it. Oh, its owner directly. Got a snapper. When it's attacking, uh, yeah, let's go with the beehive. Um, let's go with that one. The warmth will enhance its power, said another. No way. Um, Gek. The power of the Gek has enhanced by the warmth. As the survivors begin pulling a knife from his pocket, you withdraw. Misplay. Point of damage. 
I didn't think you would really do. <laughs> I didn't know that's what it would do. Oh. Uh, Bullfrog Mantis. What is that? Bifurcated Strike. A card bearing the sigil will strike each opposing space to the left and right of the space across from it. Okay, so let's take out that B. That's a bad idea. Yeah, that's cool. I was gonna lose that one. Woo! You were stopped along the way by a trapper looking to liquidate his pelts. There was something uncanny about his appearance, but you were quickly distracted by his wares. Care to look at me pelts? The trapper dealt in teeth, the type collected from battle. They are gained by dealing damage greater than what is needed to win a match. Take a pelt free of charge. See the quality? You're, you're leaving already? Please consider me pelts. Okay. Thanks for your business. The man assured you of the value of the pelts. They appear to be useless in a fight. But he mentioned that the trader further down the path would reward you for them. Pick something else. Uh, the Raven. Spotting a few of the survivors ruling, you ha made a has hasty retreat with your Raven. Uh, let's go with... What is that? Uh, let's go this way. I want to see what that, that icon is. Disappointing. Choose not a specific beast, but decide the cost that you wish to pay. Uh, let's do a one. A random card with a cost of one. What were you expecting?
Adric, I think, can be really strong now, having all those abilities. A foul smell invaded your nostril and caused your throat to seize. A hulking man sat by the brackish pond with his feet submerged in the dark water. He pulled a hook from a pile of rotting fish and rose to his feet. I am the angler. Go fish. Kingfisher. Fisher fish, easy choose. Fresher fish, easy choose. Mine now, go fish. Um, kind of screwed, honestly. <laughs> This is ridiculous. Well, huh? Go fish. Oh, God, that is creepy. You aren't dead yet. This isn't purgatory. Though you may think of it that way. Before you expire, I must ask you a favor. I would like a memento. Your very own death card. It's quite plain at the moment, isn't it? We will work together to amend that. I want this to be the perfect memento of you. Here are some of the cards from your mediocre deck. We can put them to good use. Please choose a card to draw the cost from. A cost of free from the get. And another, this time I'll use its power and health, the numbers. Uh, wolf. Three power and two health from the wolf. Now choose a card in which we'll extract the sigils. Uh, raven. Sigil of Airborne from the raven. Never did ask you your name. Uh, soup, uh... The portrait. Are you ready? You do not need to smile. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it is time. Perhaps you can un understand bones. The reinforced... The resourceful opos is it opossum or possum? I always thought the O was silent, but I've heard they're apparently two different animals. I don't know. I'll say possum. The resourceful possum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. the death of your creature you gained a bone you will not lose it until it is spent or the battle ends uh 
Do I want to sacrifice the stout? I was asleep again. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I needed. Um. Okay, so let's bullfrog. That's enough to kill the, the rattler. Oh! I forgot your figurine. Get up and fetch it for me. It's beside the safe. I'll definitely come and play later. Um, well, why am I doing this? This guy? Let us continue. I actually think I want to pause it there for now. So far, so good. I'm, I'm actually really liking this game. There's obviously a lot of stuff going on behind the scenes, like the safe. Um, I assume the goal is to escape somehow. But yeah, this game's really cool. I really like it definitely going to play some more so thank you very much for watching hope to see you again soon later